everybody. My name is Mary Moran. I'm an artist here locally in Cambridge, Maryland. Um, today at um, 6, I had pretty much was showing my new artwork display. Um, it's all dedicated to those who've been diagnosed with breast cancer. I've been touched by it because of my mother who was diagnosed this year in February. She had stage 3, but now she's pretty much in remission. So I'm just very grateful that I'm here to pretty much talk about this artwork I'm having up here because it's all serving a purpose. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about my piece here that's really like my major piece that I love because I took my time in doing this and it really meant a lot because I thought about my mother. Um, you know, she's to me beautiful. So I thought people think that because someone's beautiful, like okay, you know, that's all it is, but really there is strength in beauty. So of course I thought about Marilyn Monroe because everyone knows her, of course, of her situation, you know, her body and everything. She's beautiful. But um, I wanted to talk about, you know, just being empowerment, just being empowerment and having this art piece to, you know, pretty much strengthen others by them looking by this piece. And of course, she's wearing her boxing gloves and she's just ready to like, you know, knock out anything that's going to come her way, especially through her, you know, being di diagnosed with that in my mind. So do you have any questions, anybody, about this piece? Thank you. Mary, Thank I you have so a question. Much. I have a question. Yeah. Um, so what I kind of like and that you're probably going to answer it. I see uh, the camouflage background mm -hmm. and the symbolization from the camouflage. It reminds me of military fighting as well. Yes. But you got the pink for breast cancer and women. Yes. Um, but um, what was your thought and why that uh, particular camouflage background? Well, the reason why I did the particular pink having that just to symbolize women. You see, if you see the color pink, it's that. But then I also thought about those who were in the army. You think when you think about army, you think about the navy, you think about all that. You thinking about somebody who's fighting, someone who's prepared to go into battle. So that's how I pretty much put that in the background because she is beginning to be prepared for battle. Mm -hmm. She's not weak. She's she's ready, and that's the reason why she got her boxing gloves. That's in the background, and she's like, look, come come and get it because I'm 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 getting fight. So that's why I did this piece, and you know I wanted to express it through this way. Awesome. Wonderful. Oh, okay, can I ask a question? I thought that um, we, we had said something before. Oh, yeah. And there's like, is there some of the symbolism of camouflage? Because camouflage normally hides. Yeah. And is that like, you know, how cancer hides within the body and nobody really knows? Exactly. Until. Exactly. So. You have an eye for the art, so I can, you know, I can, that's pretty much, that's what it is. This Venus is hiding the, within the body, is, you know, it's trying to come at you, but you know, you're full force right now and you're ready to fight back. So that piece pretty much means a lot to me because it reminds me of my beautiful mother. Awesome. Miriam, I have another question. Can you, um, I have two more pieces if you just walk yeah. that way. Mike Tyson and the, and the lips. Um, let's talk about the lips though because there is such a powerful message because it's power in the tongue and the words that you speak and, yes, and, and what you say. Yes. Um, can you kind of touch on why this piece Okay. Is speaks to us the way that it does. Okay. When you guys look at this, some might just look at me like, you know, it's a mess. You know, it's just a big old mess. You know, it's not really pretty much detailed. It just has so much stuff going on at once. But that's how it is when you're diagnosed with that disease. It's so much coming at you at once. And if you sit there and just, you know, think negative and you don't speak life to your situation, it's nothing going to change. But you can see the beauty within the situation and move on from that and stay strong and speak life. And that's the reason why this is called speak life. You know, it's all about, it's all the power of the tongue. So if you're speaking negative about your situation, that's what it's going to be. But if you speak life, it's going to be better. And that's what this piece is about. Very powerful piece mm -hmm. of artwork. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, for, for the fighters and the men. Yes. Okay, we got we Tyson to, wearing we pink. We got to throw that in there. <laughs> I feel, you know, real men right. wear pink. I mean, right. what's wrong with, you know, I mean, he's not wearing pink, but he's going he's gonna to represent pink. So that's why it's called paint knockout. Because who, 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 everybody knows Mike Tyson. Everybody knows that he's ready to knock out. You know his history in the past, how he always you know, battled and he always knocked out everybody that was around him. So that's why I pretty much put him as a symbol of, you know, even though you're diagnosed with this, you pretty much can knock it out. So this piece pretty much means something to represent the men who also go through this, because not just for the women, but also men who've been diagnosed with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Great piece. Any other questions out here, guys? Ask questions, please. Challenge the artist. Challenge me. Challenge the artist with questions, please. I think one of the things, I don't have a question, but I just have a comment. And seeing that, you hung it yesterday in natural daylight, and the gloves are gold. Gold. Like a metallic gold. And it really stands up off the wall. And makes you think of, So 
Miriam, can you also touch on um, your um, upcoming sip and paint and um, your idea concept for uh, the proceeds um, for the show? Because, you know, this is a, a very important uh, life changing message, message with this show. But and um, there's so many um, families that are fighting cancer and have fought cancer that I, I really think that um, this show there should be like a hundred or plus people in here tonight, yes. Yes. regardless of the rain. Yes. But we're going to move forward. And, and the goal to this is to sell each one of these pieces. They're all uh, priced to sell. Um, and um, you can come in if you're a corporate buyer. Um, this would be a great piece of artwork to hang in, hang in, hang in your business. Yes. So, yeah. Well, for the Sips and Paint, that's going to be on the third Friday of this month. And it's pretty much just to talk, we're going to have everybody come together and of course listen to music, but we're going to also paint something that is kind of meaningful. And it's about walking by faith. So we're going to have some, everybody who's drawing something, but also bring, I want everyone who is coming to contribute to bring a picture, if they'd like, of somebody who has been diagnosed with this, somebody who is, you know, passed away from this, anything that is pretty much in honor of them. Because this whole show is not about me. And it's not about just buying something. It's also supporting those who've been diagnosed with this. And I feel like this is really like a really touching subject because not only my mother been diagnosed with this, but there's so many people around me that lost loved ones that truly touched my heart that I would love to sit there and help and, and also contribute as well. So I feel like if you guys come and support the situation, it'll be a blessing, not just for them, but also for me to do something that's really meaningful. Awesome. Uh, is there an organization or something that a part of that, like, you know, these paintings are going to be a part of? Or? Well, the proceedings, there, some of the proceedings I want to, to pretty much contribute to the, those who've been diagnosed with breast cancer. So that's what part of it is. So whoever comes to support and buy the art also come for the event as well. Those proceedings are going towards them. So I feel like if they're doing this, it's not, you know, just for here, but it's also for those who've been, you know, diagnosed with this. Thank you. 